Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a tackle warehouse unboxing. And also, I ordered some more stuff off of a uh, Teamy that we're gonna check out. But first of all, we're gonna dive into the tackle warehouse unboxing. Uh, also, I wanted to let y'all know that uh, I set up the memberships. Uh, so memberships are available. Uh, thanks to y'all, I was able to unlock that, and, uh, I really appreciate everyone's support, and so now we do have memberships, I think there's three tiers available, and each tier offers a different set of, uh, rewards or, you know, content and stuff like that, you know, shout out, stickers, badges, and all that stuff. So anyways, if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. Also, we got the super chat and super thanks. So uh, if you want to donate back to the channel, you're more than welcome to. If not, that's cool as well. Uh, but anyways, I do have memberships available now. Uh, I had to figure out kind of what it was and uh, what it was about. And uh, so I set it up and anyways, uh, I made them pretty cheap, and so if you're interested in being a member of the BBO family, be sure to hit uh, subscribe or whatever, and you'll get uh, exclusive content, and first, uh, be able to watch it first, and then there'll be, you know, your own members only stuff. Uh, I think on the highest tier, I put on there, like, uh, a free custom painted bait we'll do a drawing for that by me i'll paint it and send it off to you uh stuff like that but anyways if you want to check that out you can if not that's cool uh but anyways let's dig into this and see what we got i know y'all love some unboxing so let's ch ch check it out Okay, I don't even remember what I ordered, but anyways, we ordered some stuff. Uh, we got our what's in the box in here. We got us a Tackle Warehouse sticker. We also got a Beast Coast sticker, which means I bought something Beast Coast. Uh, I found that out the other day. Like, if you buy anything Beast Coast right now, you get a uh, Beast Coast sticker, so. That's pretty cool. So, anyways, let's uh, start off at the top. Some of the stuff y'all have already seen, some of you haven't. <clears throat> anyways, this right here is the Z-Man Hercules, four inch, and this is in the color of Moltron. I did not have this color. I think this is the only color I was missing, so I went ahead and bought it. And uh, so anyways, I'm happy to have this one. I got a mixture between the four and the five inch. In fact, I think my next video is gonna be my tackle tour of swim baits. So anyways, this little guy right here is a ton of joy. I mean, it catches fish. You don't have to worry about it tearing up. Uh, and it lasts a long time. I mean, the eyes might pop off. You might have to re-glue an eye here and there. But so far, I've been lucky enough to where I hadn't had to really worry about that. I think I've had one eye pop off. And I had to re-glue it back on. But other than that, it's been really good. The rubber and everything stays together. Y'all know how Laztec is. It just, it's durable and it swims the way it needs to. 
Next up, I picked up some crappie baits. I picked up uh, these new ones from Six Cents. These are called the Curly Clobber. And uh, anyways, they're two inches long, curly tail. Uh, it tells you what size jig head to use or an underspin. They come in uh, a 12 pack, which is really nice. We'll get that out of here, see what we got. I think it's pretty cool that over six cents has gotten into the the multi-species game. So anyways, you got this little minnow looking thing. It's like kind of thick right up here, but it's real, real paper thin. As you can see right through there. Then you got your little curly tail back there. And uh, so basically it's almost like a grub that's made to imitate a minnow. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Almost everything that's out there likes minnows. So uh, there's no telling what you'll catch on this. So, anyways, that's pretty cool to see Six Cents getting into the multi-species game. Uh, anyways, this is uh, Platinum White. I really like that. Next up is a Lunker Hunt uh, swim bait. This is called the Bait Shifter Minnow. I bought these before and they work pretty good. This is a 3 8 ounce with a 4 aught hook. And it comes in a little kit like this. I had them on, I bought this because I had them on sale for really cheap. I think they were like $2 and some change. And uh, I've got both sizes. I just don't have uh, this color, so I went ahead and bought it. But anyways, really nice swim bait. And what's really cool about this is you can actually put the hook right up through the body of this thing. I believe that's how it goes. Or Maybe it goes the other way. Alright, so there's a hollow cavity right through there. You push it on out. And you get it in there. You have to kind of play with it. Looks like it changed the head up on this thing because I don't remember the other ones being that hard. The other ones used to be able to slide in from the back side. But anyways, you get the pretty cool little swim bait with a free hook and comes like that. And there's like, I mean, any kind of like little rounded head that's like that, you can slide in there. So therefore you can make it bigger or smaller. And like I said, it swims through the water really good, so nothing wrong with that. And like I said, you get the whole little kit. And the last time I was on Tackle Warehouse, they had them on sale. I don't know if they still do. But uh, anyways, uh, this one is called Nitro Glow, and it is three and a half inches. So, that's something to check out. Oh, wow. These things are way smaller than what they were. Okay, so, this is uh, definitely a multi-species bait. 10-pack. This is from Lunker Hunt. And, uh, this right here is called... The flicker worm, it's two inches and in watermelon flake. So 
Yeah, this is way smaller than what I thought it was. I thought these were way bigger than that. All right, so. It is made out of their stretchy material. And uh, anyway, so check out this little dude. It's got like a weird looking tail. It looks like a spear and then a rib side. And uh, I believe it's part of the Hive series because the Hive series is the only one that's stretchy like that. Uh, but normally it says Hive series on it if it is. But if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, whenever I read online, they said it was part of the Hive material. Uh, but anyways, like I said, it is uh, made for panfish, uh, called the flicker worm, uh, two inches, and watermelon red flake, can't ever go wrong with that. And you get, I think, ten of them, this is what it said, ten of them in a pack, so can't beat that. Next up, I bought some of the new Yum Helgermites. Uh, this one is in uh, GB Haze in an 8 pack. And uh, anyways, I got a bunch of Helgermite baits. And so whenever I heard Yum was coming out with one, I wanted to check it out. Because so. Yum makes some good baits, and they make them at a really good price. So uh, it doesn't say too much on how big it is. It just says that it's a 8-pack. But anyways, really nice-looking little Helger right? And I mean, it is a pretty good little size Helgramite. You could use it on a Ned rig, a drop shot, and a lot of different kinds of fish are probably going to eat this. But uh, I'm imagining GB stands for Green Pumpkin Blue or Black, but it's got blue and black flakes in it, as you can see. And uh, anyways, it says to use a one to two aught Ned jig hook. So anyways, that'll be interesting to give a shot. Love me some yum baits, ain't nothing wrong with them. The great quality for a great price. Next up. Uh, uh, my buddy over there at uh, Parabolum Fishing sent me a pack of these, and when I seen them, I about flipped out, so I went back and bought me another pack. This is the Savage Gear Duratec 4-inch Duratec Minnow, and this one is in uh, Magito. And for those of y'all that don't know what the Savage Gear Duratec is, it's basically their version of a Elastec. But it's a little bit more of a firmer Elastec. It's not real, real soft. It's more of a durable. As you can see, it doesn't... I mean, you can stretch it, but it doesn't come like real easily down down there at the tail it does and these right here are some awesome little swim baits and as you can tell it's almost the same design as the hercules tail which is really cool swim through the water really well good bait i use the three inch a lot and whenever he sent me this four inch uh, that I didn't even knew they make, I had to pick me up another pack of them. So anyways, that is the Magito color.
really cool bait. Next up, we have, uh, oh yeah, this is uh, the Beast Coast 3.8 Slow Flow in uh, Gobi color. Uh, anyway, this is their new swim bait that they have. And uh, anyways, I bought a pack not too long ago. So when I got them, I wanted another pack of them in a different color so I went back and got me a, another color of them they come in a pretty cool little half shell and uh, as you can see they come in that not too much it ain't too much bulk but anyways that's a really good looking color you can tell how soft that tail is it dangles down through there which means that it ain't gonna take much. You can really reel, reel this at a slow pace and get a lot of action out of that tail. See, I mean, you can tell by how it hangs over like that. It. it touches the body, so not very much speed to get this thing rolling. And there's a bunch of purple and gold flake in it with like a purplish blue belly. So really cool color, I like it. And uh, you know, you use that on a little ball head jig or uh, or as a trailer on a swim bait or something like that. Uh, either way it goes, it's gonna be a good bait. Beast Coast make really good products the only problem i have with them is they can be kind of expensive i mean you, i think this was 5.99 and you only get four of them or five of them in a pack so but nowadays every bait's expensive so uh next up i bought some uh z-man minnows in morning glory in a size three inch and it's a six pack. Love me some Z-Man. But anyways, I've seen this color on there and I thought this was pretty cool. I'll show it to you. But anyways, there it is. Got that charger's tail and then basically it's like a cherry body. It's uh, got a bunch of red flake in it. And uh, yeah, it's really good looking bait. And then they got the little spot where you can hide the hook. And uh, so yeah, pick me up some of them. See a lot of this stuff that I picked up this time around was on sale. So that's why the majority of it was uh, soft baits and not hard baits. So. But you can't ever have too many soft plastics. Next up, uh, this is uh, one I've been wanting to try. This is a weight bait from Fish Labs and this is a new one. It is called the Bioshad Wake Bait. And if you remember correctly, one of the ones I've been having really good luck out of this year is the Bio uh, Swim Crank. And it swims down to like one, one foot under the water, but really it's hard to get it down unless you use a shot like a, a real light line but normally it's just a weight bait it's multi-jointed this one's single jointed and it's four inches and three-fourths of an ounce and the color of this one is uh i believe this one is sexy shed 
So anyways, I seen this one on there. This one was a little bit cheaper than the other one. And so anyways, I bought this one. I figured that if the other one works that good, this one might work just as well. Uh, so anyways, seems to have a real good like wiggle action. It does have a little bit of rattle in it. Got some big old beefy hooks on there. And anyways, I just like the way it looks. It looks real, real nice. But anyways, uh, I would definitely recommend the swim crank by fish labs but i can't tell you about this one but i would imagine this one's gonna work just about the same because it's almost the same bait the only difference is really is the other one is multi-jointed which means you get a little bit more action so that is all the tackle warehouse stuff so anyways i've already looked into this and actually what happened was a bunch of my stuff came in and it uh, come in separate packages. So I went through and added them into one bag. And so I just figured I might show y'all some of this stuff. Uh, anyways, this from Timu. And uh, this is their version of the Yama Tanuki. And this is our Ned Rig version, which is, uh, I want to say like two inches, two and a half inches long. But anyways, it's got a squid smell to it. And it does have the side hooking on it. And real nice color. They call this olive gold so you've got that and then i've also got the real version of it this is their normal size yama tanuki so let's do a side by side comparison like i said uh they do make a uh a nedrig version in yamamoto as well I will tell you this, this is a much more dense plastic and this is more of a softer plastic, which means you're going to get more action off of this tail right here, which is, you know, that's a good thing. Uh, but anyway, you see that kind of stays up like that. Uh, so this is a more firm plastic and this is more of a soft plastic. Uh, I don't know what the difference is if you bought the Nedrig version of them. Maybe they're a softer plastic. But those definitely look the same to me. Uh, So I'm kind of curious to see how they compare against the Yamamoto. These right here were, I think $2 and some change versus $7 for these. And you get three, six, eight. You get eight in a pack and that and you get eight in the pack of these so anyways and i also found these uh these are a knockoff of the mega bass haze dong and i've never even fished the mega bass haze dongs but i do know what they look like i've seen the pictures i've looked at them at stores and I almost picked them up quite a few times but couldn't justify paying the price so I found these on Team U. 
they're two and two point eight four inches long and oh wow they come in a clamshell that's pretty cool was not expecting a clamshell and these was not expensive at all these were like two dollars so you can really see the resemblance of the haze dome it's even got the flat top you got them little eyes up front you got the little tail and you can see that is a soft plastic uh it has a hollow or not a hollow body but a, even the little belly slot and the color of this one i don't know what it is but anyways really cool looking little color and for the price like i said you can't beat it it almost looks just like the haze dome and uh i know on the haze domes you can get them in different sizes well on these they only had one size so I went with that and uh, yeah so there's the name of the brand if you're looking for it low low king that's an interesting name and on the other one it just says uh, I guess four four K I And then next up, I picked these up. These look like some pretty good, like uh, multi-species minnow looking things. And this one is in blue. And it's made from a company, I guess called Burley. Burley Fishing. It does have a scent to it. Kind of almost reminds me of a, uh, what do you call them, uh, the Kytec, uh, I've got a pack of them, Kytec something, but anyways, that's what they almost remind me of, but the plastic's a little bit stiffer, and anyways, pretty cool little color, blue with the clear on the bottom, uh, but anyways uh i found those i thought those were pretty cool and those were like a dollar or something and you get a whole bunch of them in there so can't beat that what else we got in there we got three more items So we got three more items. Next up, we have these right here. These are in the color brown. But anyways, they're called uh, Sun Mile Perfect Baits. They're in a shrimp scent. And uh, anyways, they come in a little jar. Okay, so we got, these are almost like a little trout magnet, a little minnow, got a little boot tail on it. Oh, it's a stretchy material. That's pretty cool. Good deal. So, anyways, I figure that'll work really well for, you know, pan fish. And you get a lot of them in here. I don't remember how many it is, but you can see that jar is full. Uh, if I had to guess, there's probably 20 or 30 of them in there, maybe even more. Uh, yeah. Next up, I went back and bought this. Uh, this is the Mega Bass knockoff medallion the last one i bought had a lip on it so i went back and bought this one this one does not have a lip on it and 
the hooks are pretty sticky believe it or not but so anyways you got this one and this one does not have a lip on it so like I said I don't have the medallion to compare it to but anyway the hooks seem pretty sticky uh, I'll probably change those out before I fish it or I might fish it like it is and just see how it works but anyways that's the uh, mega bass medallion knockoff uh, and like I said that was right there I think was like four dollars and it's made by a company called Somalia Somalia yeah since 1991 hard bait super casting uh but yeah Somalia so anyways that's a pretty cool bait now this next one I'm really excited about getting this right here is supposed to be a knockoff of the Shimano Armor Flash Boost. Anyways, it's her Armor swim bait that they got. I think they run about $60. And this one was $15. And anyways, uh, apparently it has a removable tail and uh, it's got the flash boost system in it. And the color is uh, green red and is 190 meters, which I believe is about six inches. Oh wow, that's a nice piece of work. Okay, so, anyways, as you can see, there out there is actually how the armor, Shimano armor gill works. It's made to fold in half like that. Gives it a lot of action. It's actually got three segments, but that's what that's known for. And if you look right there in the center, it's got the flash boost system in it. And it does work. Uh, it's got the removable tail. You remove this little pin right here and I guess the tail pops out. Uh, Anyways, I'm not sure how you get the tail out, but anyways, that right there is a pretty sweet color, a pretty sweet design on a knockoff off of Shimano. I don't expect it to compare to anything like Shimano's armor swim bait, but I mean, they done a pretty good job putting that piece of foil in there to make it flash. And if it stays on there and works right and stuff, I don't see why you couldn't catch a fish on this. As long as the action does not suck, but even the Shimano Armor Glide does that. That's kind of crazy. I did not expect it to resemble like it. I mean, this thing is made to be able to turn itself all the way back around like that. So, anyways, if you're looking for a knockoff of the of the Shimano Armor Glide. They do have one. They actually got different different sizes, different colors. You name it, they got it. So, anyways, I thought that was really cool to see that on there. Because, like I said, I would probably never spend sixty bucks on an Armor Glide. Uh, but 
whenever it comes to $15, that's the difference. I can afford that, and it's almost the same exact bait. Now, does it perform like the Shimano Armor Glide? Probably not, but if it even resembles half of what that bait does, I would imagine this right here is going to be a really good bait. So, anyways, that is uh, my opinion. Uh, I mean, they didn't even cheap out on packaging it. I mean, it come in a nice looking little box. It's got little directions on the back. Most of it's in Chinese, but you can read some of it, or you can kind of just look at the picture and it shows you how it works. Uh, it looks like you can even change the size of the hooks out on it. But, yeah, that is it. That is the big purchase of the day. That right there was $16 with uh, taxes and all. So, anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope it wasn't too long. And, uh, anyways... Like I said, don't forget about the membership and, and stuff. Once I get a few members and stuff, we'll start doing, you know, exclusive content. I was thinking like maybe tank reviews and stuff I'm gonna do for members only. And then we'll do like uh, special drawings and stuff for members only. Uh, just a lot of different stuff for members only. Uh, but I ain't forgot about the people that don't want to join. Like I said, nobody might join. I mean, if they don't, they don't. Uh, but we will still be doing the 900 giveaway. But uh, like I said, I'm just waiting for us to get up there a little bit higher. And uh, we'll go from there. But anyways, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for all y'all's support. And thank y'all for watching. And y'all have a blessed day.